Tomo News presents Winter Sports. Pro skier Angel Collinson survives 1,000 foot tumble. Angel Collinson is known for dropping jaws for her success on the slopes, but her tumble down Neocola Range in Alaska last spring made our jaws hit the floor. Watch as she navigates through the powder, making it look easy, but something happens when she hits a patch of icy snow. Collinson begins a tumble that would take her 1,000 feet downhill. Miraculously, she was able to walk away from the spill with just a couple jammed fingers. Otherwise, she was completely unscathed. I'm okay. I'm okay. How? We have no idea. Collinson told ABC, I covered my face and protected my head with my arms. And I just kind of held on until I stopped. Yeah, I'm fine. And I can go back up and get my shit too. Canadian authorities are on the search for this man, and here's why. This is Whistler Blackcomb, a ski resort in British Columbia, Canada. And this is their peak-to-peak -peak gondola, which connects, well, two peaks. At its highest point, it's 1,430 feet above the ground. When it opened in 2008, this guy, Shane McConkie, a pro skier and base jumper, jumped off it. And in the spirit of McConkie, this video was posted to YouTube on February 11th. This gal and the jumper with the camera on his head got into this gondola, then pried open the doors, which apparently isn't that easy or cheap to fix. As you can see, they were pretty psyched. Then the guy climbed out and jumped. Now, if you're not in the know, base jumping is a sport where people jump off shit, specifically buildings, antennae, spans, and earth, which is what base stands for. You will note that gondola does not fit into the acronym. Anyway, the guy landed and didn't die. Then he, or someone with access to the video, thought it would be really awesome to upload the video so the world, including law enforcement bodies, could see it. And if it wasn't clear before, it's illegal to jump out of gondolas at Whistler and it's like even more illegal to jack up the doors so you can jump out. The gal in the video got found and was arrested. As of the making of this video, the jumper has yet to be located. Brawl breaks out between cops and firefighters at annual hockey game. New York's finest was up against New York's bravest at their annual charity hockey game. They were tied 3-3 in the third period when this happened. In violent glory not seen since Jean-Claude Van Damme had to save the Pittsburgh Penguins from domestic terrorists, everyone started beating the shit out of everyone else. They're yelling, PD sucks, if you can't make it out. The game was delayed for 25 minutes, but by the end, everyone was friends again, and New York's Men in Blue took home the win 8-5. to five. Careers unite for the Olympics. One of the coolest things about the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang this February is the sudden thawing of tensions between South and North Korea. The two countries dropped a bomb, announcing they'll march under one flag at the opening ceremony. The plan is to also field a joint women's hockey team. And as a beating bonus, the North is also throwing in its 230-member all-female cheerleading squad. Pyongyang may send up to 500 athletes, cheerleaders, musicians, officials, and reporters across the demilitarized zone. North and South Korean skiers will train together at a resort in North Korea before the Games. But who's going to foot the bill?
It remains to be seen if the goodwill during the games will continue after the Olympics, but knowing Kim Jong Fatty, the world should be just fine. Heroic ice skaters chop through thick ice to save moose stuck in frozen lake. A video uploaded to YouTube on Wednesday shows the nail-biting moment a group of ice skaters in Sweden risked their lives to rescue a moose that was trapped in a frozen lake. Victor Johansson and his partner Sigrid Schusten were skating on the lake when they spotted the moose. The couple returned with an axe and tried to rescue the exhausted animal by smashing through the thick layers of ice. The pair took turns pummeling the ice for 30 minutes straight. They eventually managed to clear a path for the moose to get to shore, and the animal clambered back onto land and disappeared into the woods. The video, which was uploaded last Wednesday by Johansson, has accumulated more than 500,000 views. This is why humans were put on the planet. We all need to be earth keepers, said one commenter. Another said, faith in humanity restored. Soil. Climber is killed after falling hundreds of feet from Mount Hood. A man fell to his death from the summit on the Elliott Glacier side of the Oregon Peak early Tuesday morning. The climber was identified as Robert J. Cormier, a 57-year-old Catholic priest from New Jersey. Cormier fell while scaling Mount Hood in a party of three. The team departed Timberline Lodge on the south side of the summit at around 1.45 a.m. on Tuesday. Rescuers believe that the climber may have stepped on a cornice, which is created when the wind blows snow, forming a lip over the edge of a cliff. Cornier fell from the peak at around 8 a.m., tumbling an estimated five to 700 feet into a crevasse. His body was spotted from a fixed-wing aircraft about two hours later. The risk of avalanches is currently high due to warm conditions and recent snowfall. Rescuers will not attempt to recover the body until conditions are safe, deputies said. Vladimir Putin celebrates birthday with macho hockey display. If you were to believe Russian state TV, you'd think that Vladimir Putin was some kind of Chuck Norris. The guy's done everything from working out and having tea with Comrade Medvedev to kicking butt at judo. And who could forget the iconic horseback riding image? Shirtless, of course. So while his country was bombing the caviar out of Syria, Vlad celebrated his 63rd birthday by playing hockey. His team won 15 to 10, and Mr. Putin scored seven goals himself. Only seven? Reuters reports that the losing team included some of Putin's oldest friends and some of the wealthiest businessmen in Russia, while Vlad's included ex-NHL stars and his defense minister. Well, that sounds fair, right? <laughs> 